happens, you know, literally, sometimes there's generations that go by that don't get to experience something like this. So it should be appreciated, it should be respected. respected. At the same time, there are some inherent risks. Inherent risks. Inherent risks. When I was in fifth grade, there was a partial solar eclipse that occurred. And I was, I knew that looking at the sun wasn't a good idea, but there was so much talk about it that I remember uh, walking home from school while the eclipse was winding down and I was looking at the sun. So here in Tallahassee at the peak, which occurs at about 2.42 in the afternoon, about 86% of the sun is going to be obscured by the moon shadow. So the temperature is going to drop, the skies are going to be noticeably darker, the behavior of birds and animals will likely be impacted. At no time during the eclipse here in Tallahassee is it going to be safe to look at the sun. And I think that's the biggest and most important thing is, is that even if the sun is 86% obscured by the shadow of the moon, looking at the sun is every bit as dangerous as if it was a normal, ordinary, clear day. You've been told that there's this, this object in the sky that you have a familiarity with that you just instinctively know not to look at. And you know something is happening to that entity and I think there's gonna be a natural inclination to look at it and be like, wait, well, what's the big deal? If you keep glancing at it, you know, the overall amount of radiation that you're putting into the back of your eye can be damaging. So I, I do really feel that it is a hazardous situation, especially with the elementary school kids, um, because you know there, there could be a strong temptation to look at the sun and it doesn't take long to do some serious damage to your eyes. But I, I wholeheartedly agree with uh, Superintendent Hanna and the district leadership's position on this. By creating the dialogue that Leon County's uh, leadership has created, it helps us draw attention to those risks. It positions the teachers, the parents, and the students themselves uh, to mitigate those risks. So we have 27 schools here in Leon County have our weather stem program. There are a ton of Florida standards aligned lessons about weather, also about astronomy. In anticipation of this eclipse, we just created a really, if I do say so myself, a wonderfully designed 21 slide lesson geared toward kids of all ages about eclipses. Thanks to the collaboration I have with my friend and colleague, Ken Kopchensky, uh, here at my home office, I actually have a solar telescope that is able to broadcast live through all of our weather stem sites. So we're going to be live streaming the eclipse as it occurs here in Tallahassee. As an astronomer, uh, we're interested in the sky and Ed, as a meteorologist, is very interested in the sun because the sun drives the weather. So we combined our love for astronomy with his love for uh, the, the atmosphere, the sun, and its effects on weather uh, into this observatory. The, the magnificence of these two celestial bodies that are so important to our life here on Earth that happen to be apparently in the sky just the same size as far as how we perceive them, and one passes in front of the other. It, it's just, uh, it, it, I, it's just it gives me goosebumps.